Hi, I'm Greg Doran. I'm the Artistic Director of the Royal Shakespeare Company, and welcome to our home here in Stratford-upon-Avon, where all our great work starts. And I'm delighted to be announcing our winter season for 2019. So one of the great things about the uh, autumn season in The Swan, which Erica Wyman is, is curating, alongside Shakespeare's King John, um, we have two new plays, um, and it's, it's a really great to have the same company doing the Shakespeare and the new work as well. I'm very excited about this season. Uh, it's uh, three plays that have a really interesting relationship to one another. King John by William Shakespeare, uh, not one of his best known plays, but a really wonderful play for our time, directed by Eleanor Rhodes. And then a new play by Hannah Khalil called A Museum in Baghdad, which I'm going to direct. It's a really exciting play, uh, quite a challenging play, I think, about our responsibility in the world. And that uh, is then joined in the repertoire by a play called The Whip by Juliet Gilkes Romero. It's a play about the moment in British parliamentary history where we passed the Abolition of Slavery Act but we did it by compensating the British slave owners all over the world. We also uh, like to do a family show every Christmas, and I'm really thrilled about uh, the fact to be, that I'm going to be directing The Boy in the Dress. Mark Ravenhill sent me the book. I read it. I loved it. Um, David Walliams uh, seemed to think this was a, a very good idea. Guy Chambers came on board to write the music, and then one day I got a, a phone call from, from Guy saying, Greg, I, I've, I've been talking to my, my mate, Robbie Williams, and he's really thrilled about this, and he, he said, would it be okay if he wrote it with me? And I kind of went, uh, well, um, uh, let me... Th Fantastic. So I was looking around for a book to adapt, and the title that really stood out for me was Boy in the Dress, and I just found it a really gripping, entertaining, genuinely life-affirming story. A comedy about cross-dressing is pure Shakespeare as well, so I thought, yeah, this is, this is the one. I was asked by the playwright Mark Ravenhill, who I knew a little bit, um, whether I was interested in it being adapted. Well, I was thrilled. Um, what I didn't know at that stage was it was going to be a musical. Often when something like this happens, people say, well, who would you like to write the songs? And you think, well, obviously, what would like these people to write them? But obviously, they're never going to say yes. And I was amazed that uh, Robbie Williams and Guy Chambers uh, were interested. And then I went to a workshop, and there's like 27 brilliant songs. <laughs> and I was like, OK, all right, uh, they've done it. I was originally tasked to do it by Mark Ravenhill. And, and, I, and I thought, I can't do this on my own. I need my great long-time writing partner, Robbie Williams, to come in and help me with it. And I'm Robbie Williams. Is there anything more beautiful than Lisa Jane? We've been looking at doing a musical for a long time and haven't really been able to find the perfect vehicle to uh, write the songs that we want to write. Oh, and, you know, we've written together six or seven albums and uh, it's time to explore other things. And it's an avenue that we've both been excited about. Um, and then I love David, he's a mate of mine, you know, and he's got this excellent book that we both read, fell in love with, easy read, great read, inspirational. And um, it was a, uh, a Shazam moment. Shazam, this is it. Let's get in the studio and write the songs for this musical. 